love the new theme. This is the Southernmost News Bureau at RadioFreakyWest.com. I'm the Reverend Douglas, and this is my partner in crime, world-famous artist, Dave, Dave Klein. Klein. Today, August 11, 2009, these are the headlines. A travel ban protest. Two groups who oppose the American government ban on travel to Cuba may have to change their strategy in their fight to ease the travel restrictions. The Venceramos Brigade and the Pastors for Peace have stepped up their, in the fight in the past few weeks, collectively and blatantly having 270 members of both groups intentionally travel to Cuba and return to the United States with Cuban custom stamps on their passports. In road a, trip, baby. Road trip. And in an effort <laughs> to force the government to prosecute them for breaking the travel embargo, in the event of fine, prosecution, or arrest, the group means to use the court actions as a way to challenge the U.S. travel ban in front of a judge. And despite having Cuba stamped on their customs form, none of the 270 people have been charged with any violations in spite of the fact that none of the either group had the required license issued by the Treasury Department, Dave. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Your <laughs> government dollars at work. <laughs> you bet, baby. Now, Ro road trip. Well, here's the reason. The Obama administration has eased up on the enforcement of travel restrictions after the president spoke last April at the Summit of the Americas, stating that he wanted a new beginning with Cuba. Who is the headliner for that, the Summit of the Americas? There's a bill before the U.S. Congress that would completely eliminate travel restrictions altogether. However, there's no way of telling when the legislation would pass or if it would pass. Key West International Airport, Tampa International Airport, have both filed for permission with the Department of Homeland Security to become official ports of entry from Cuba when the ban's lifted. It is against the law for Americans to spend money in Cuba, especially if you can't get there. However, Cubans with family can get special permission to visit, and they can spend as much as $179 a day. Wow. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> no kidding, <laughs> man. That, that, that's, that's a butler, a maid, and all the alcohol you can drink. Of course, in Cuba, you <laughs> yeah. can probably get quite a bit for $179. <laughs> that's, that's, right. Bucks. that's like two years' salary. That's right. But um, the travel restrictions were put in place by President Kennedy. Figure that in 1962, after he messed up the Bay of Pigs, and after Communist leader Fidel Castro allied Cuba with the Soviet Union and allowed them to use the island as a missile base. The government doesn't seek any action against the protesting groups, Venceramos or Pastors for Peace. So, Keep smoking those cocaine. Oh, I don't know. They got a pretty good trip to Cuba. That's <laughs> so, right. I mean, Keep, that's the worst that's that could right, happen. Baby. I should go on such a good protest. That's right. Yeah. We're, we're going we're gonna to do a field trip there. Okay, and here's a couple of buffoons for you. Two Keys men are charged with poaching. Two Keys men have been charged with illegally harvesting $11,400 worth of spiny lobsters and being caught in a sting called Operation Frostbite by the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission with the help of state and federal agents. They observed the men from the summer of 2008 to early 2009. They watched them create an artificial habitat so they could attract lobsters and, right. and catch them. Right. John Buckheim and Nick DeMauro appeared in Miami Federal Court Monday to face four counts of violating the Lacey Act and one charge of conspiracy to violate the Lacey Act after sinking a boat and trailer in 25 feet of water. Hey, I got some the bicycles they can take, too. <laughs> 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 I got some old bikes in my yard. Come and make an artificial reef, baby. Well, I don't even know where this is, but it's <laughs> south of Sammy's Creek Bridge on Sugarloaf Key near Mile Marker 20 off of U.S. Route 1 and it's in a protected sanctuary. The charges carry, each of them carry uh, five years, and if convicted, Buckheim faces the forfeiture of his boat and truck that were used for the crime. The trial is scheduled for October 5th in, in Key West. They're going to bring it all the way down here. They That's probably the figure they can't, get a, they can't get a fair trial in Miami. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And then, and then we got Noah. Here we go. It's hurricane season again, Dave. Noah. Noah. Lowers the hurricane expectation. They're the National really? Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, and they expect a lower than normal hurricane season due to the common effects of the El Nino. But experts warn that the peak season is August and September, and it's still at hand, and people need to be prepared in case of an emergency. Batteries, baby. Get your batteries. Get plenty of batteries. <laughs> the lower expectations have dropped from 14 named storms to 11 named storms, okay, with winds of at least 30 mi 39 miles per hour. Six of those storms are going to become hurricanes with winds of 74 miles per hour or more. And two of those six storms are going to become hurricanes with winds of 111 miles an hour or more. The waters in the Pacific Ocean are warmer than normal now, and that's causing El Nino to produce stronger upper-level westerly 
westerly winds over the Caribbean and tropical Atlantic Ocean. And what it does is it blows the tops off of thunderstorm clouds that help to form hurricanes, wow. Dave. Can you imagine? You're a meteorologist. Yes. You know all about this. <laughs> yes, I do. There's other factors in place. The above average rainfall in Western Africa, the warmer seasonal waters in the Atlantic are still in place, and that'll favor storm development. The early season low activity of tropical storms, though, still isn't an indication of a light hurricane year because hurricanes will develop during El Nino. And in 1992, we had Hurricane Andrew, Very bad. which was Category 5, and that didn't form until August. Yes. And the guy from FEMA, this is what he had to say. His name is Craig Fugate. It only takes one storm to put a community at risk, Dave. That's that right. Is, that's right. And that's why we need to take action and prepare ourselves and our families. Don't leave the kids out. <laughs> Honey, where are the children? The <laughs> wind's picking up. And before the next storm hits, and that um, includes you yeah. have to develop a family disaster plan. Yeah, go out and play soccer. Yeah. You have to develop a plan for the family. And there is no, to see, that's a lie. There is and then, yes, activity. And then, I was like just going to say, I was just gonna say breaking news. There's yeah, four storms news. out there right yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> breaking news. There's some tropical activity. So Guess what? So, Noah, get your act together. So what? what, what um, so we're not out of the water yet, Dave. No. Anyway, why don't you tell me what the weather is, and then I'll huck you. Okay. <laughs> Hey, the weather from Key West International Airport at 7.30 this morning. Um, it's 83 degrees. Feels like 90, Doug. It does feel like 90, doesn't uh, it? Especially it in here. They should turn the air on. <laughs> That's right. Humidity is 77. When, believe it or not, one mile north. Dew point. Yes, I know what a dew point is. 75 degrees. Visibility. 10 miles. It's Pre always 10 miles. Always 10 miles. Pressure, 30 inches passing cloud and warm actually it should be passing cloud and friggin hot passing gas and warm <laughs> 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 what are the deals of the day there and this <laughs> is this is in the bar rooms now this is the most important part of the yes. news so please pay attention okay. and this is more important than even the family evacuation plan that's right uh, this is our the deal today, guys. If you're coming to Key West or if you're already here in Key West, I'm this, here, is, Dave. this is where you go. Guy Harvey's Dollar Drafts all day, all night. One of my favorite spots in town. For a buck? You For can't a buck. Beat it. Can't beat it. Uh, the Bull Whistle, if you're a whiskey drinker, another one of my stuff because I like my rum and cokes. Two for one well drinks all day, all night. Nice. Now, here we go to the Cowboy Bells. The Cowboy Bells, two for one margaritas, dollar PBRs. I couldn't believe the guy the other day didn't know what a PBR was. He didn't know what Paps Blue Ribbon was, man. <laughs> yeah. I said, what planet are I you know. from? Maybe he's a spy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe he's a spy. Maybe he's from a different country. He doesn't know what Paps That's Blue right. Ribbon is. And reloaded two for one margaritas and dollar PBRs. And if you're still out partying, I want to hang out with you guys for late night happy hour. Schooner, I mean, uh, Shiny Key from 12 to 2. And if you're still up at 2 to 4, it's Schooner Wharf. Schooner Wharf, but you didn't tell anybody about the morning happy hours. You've oh, got to okay. go down to Dawn's place between the hours of 7 and 11 and see Mike because That's he's right. got uh, well drinks for $3 until 11 o'clock in the morning. And, the other and one then is they go Schooner to day Wharf. pricing, which isn't unreasonable either. And then where's the other? Uh, Schooner Wharf. Schooner Wharf has a Se uh, 7, uh, 7 to 11. 7 to 11. It's the actual breakfast oh. club. Uh, really? Yeah, that's what they call it. Okay, well, I don't want them stealing us. Yeah. They can't be stealing our ideas. Anyway, I'm the Reverend Douglas. This is Radio Free Key West. We are at the Southernmost News Bureau. I'm here with my partner in crime, world-famous artist, Dave, Dave Klein. Klein. And this has been the headlines for August 11, 2009. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. <laughs>